Hi everyone, Corgelina here. Thank you so much for being here. Whether this is your first time, your second time, or you watched all of my videos, I am so excited that you have decided to click on this one. Today's video is definitely going to be handbag related. So if you're here for the handbag content, thank you so much. If you are here, for the teacher content, there is also definitely something for you. I will make sure to tag my teacher playlist um, in this video as well, uh, where I share lots of freebies. There are a lot of Christmas and holiday themed things coming your way uh, for teachers. So if you want to follow me along this journey, if you are a teacher or a luck or a lux lover or both like me, I would love it if you considered hitting that subscribe button. I am super, super close to hitting two thousand. I actually think that by the time this video goes live, I will be there because I am, I think, one away. Uh, so I still can't believe that that is true. When I um, set off to do this and to post consistently, I decided that my goal for the year was 1600. So the fact that we reached 2000, just it brings me so much joy. I am so excited. Uh, it's made my entire year. I've made some great friends um, and I hope to continue to do so. So definitely keep the conversation going in the comments. Always reach out, um, especially on Instagram. I've made some crazy friendships there. Uh, I love the community that is starting to uh, grow. So if you are interested in that and just kind of joining along, always leave a comment. I will always get back to you. Uh, but let's get into the topic of today's video. It sounds a little weird uh, th to say that luxury has changed me, but I do really truly believe that. Before I get started with that though, and to tell you how I've changed, I do want to mention today's sponsor. So this is a sponsored video. This video was sponsored by the amazing She Said Yes uh, company by the folks over there. I am so excited to partner with them again. They were my very first sponsorship ever, and I haven't done any other sponsored video since. This is just the second one. And since that video went live, I actually have have talked about them throughout because I have been consistently wearing the necklace that they gifted me. And after that necklace, I did decide that I wanted to pick up a ring because the necklace worked out so well for me. I am not wearing it right now, but that's because I'm just like in this incredibly comfortable uh, sweater. So I have no jewelry on. I just showered a little while ago. Um, we did a lot of shopping this weekend for Christmas and it's just kind of been a hectic weekend and today is a comfortable day at home. So I didn't need to uh, look all fancy, but I definitely wore it throughout. I wanna go ahead and show you. Um, and as I am talking about the amazing folks as she said yes, I wanted to talk a little bit about the new piece that I picked up, but this is the necklace. Um, I have been using it consistently I love this thing. <laughs> um, it's one of the only necklaces I own. I definitely will be picking up another one. The earrings that match this are on my wish list for Christmas uh, from my husband. But the reason why I wanted to get a ring was because, as you notice, right, I wear my wedding band here and there, but it does cause me uh, some itchiness. It's quite bulky, uh, but I, so I don't wear jewelry in my hands a lot because I do have pretty bad eczema and uh, some allergies to metals that just end up showing up on my fingers when I'm wearing a lot and my hands are definitely what gets triggered the most. Uh, so I've never spent the money on anything like that. My husband has known me for a very long time. So when he proposed, he knew that um, it's not something that I am going to be consistently wearing. Um, but I wanted something really, really nice and fancy looking for things like the holidays. So if you are planning to propose or anything like that, please consider going to She Said Yes and not breaking the bank if you definitely want to uh, spend like upwards of ten, twenty thousand $20,000, however much you want, they definitely have that covered as well. But you can find some pretty inexpensive 
amazing quality jewelry there. I will go ahead and put my code here uh, if you want to save even some more, but they have some crazy deals that just passed for Black Friday, but now some amazing ones coming for Christmas. I will have all of those details in the description of the video. Please give them a, um, a chance. And I want to show you now the ring that I got because I've been talking about it. And I haven't shown it. I mean, look at how amazing that looks. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that I did that presentation some justice and you just see that uh, uh, packaging coming up uh, to life. But here it is. Here is the ring. It's amazing. I am going to put it on and I am going to leave it on for the remainder of the video. But this is going to be the ring that I wear during the holidays. And my husband picked this one out. So he actually picked this ring out. Um, I did want to make sure that it was something that he picked so that it still stays true to the fact that uh, what I wear is to symbolize our relationship is something that he picked out for me. So he picked this one out. Uh, next, we will be getting the matching band for it because uh, this is an engagement ring and we are not engaged. We are very much married. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is beautiful and I will be wearing it throughout the holidays. Look at just how pretty and how nice it sparkles. So again, I'm so excited. Thank you so much to She Said Yes for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now for today's topic. How has luxury changed me? So recently I watched a video by Dale from Dale's Addiction, who I'm addicted to. <laughs> um, I love watching all of her videos uh, and she always has really amazing things to say. And in that video, which I will link definitely in the description, uh, she talked about things that are really popular that she does not spend her money on that she, or that she doesn't think are worth it, like luxury pieces that she doesn't think are worth it. And as I was watching that, I really, it really resonated with me because I, although I own a lot of those pieces, I feel what she was talking about and I agree. I wholeheartedly agreed with so much of it. So I thought that I would make my portion of the video and talked about the things that have changed in me since I started purchasing luxury. I have been following all kinds of content creator real, creators. Really, that's what I use YouTube the most of. I have some like other little niches that I watched and that might be a whole other video that are not handbag related or even teacher related. But the majority of the people that I watched are in this specific space. And um, I get FOMO, right? That fear of missing out. Um, and I end up purchasing pieces that I think are going to work for me. And then I end up loving them. But when I really think about them, they are not practical. So that is how luxury has changed me. It has brought me to a point where I'm buying things and convincing myself that I need them and that I love them when I actually don't. So I wanna talk about those pieces. But before I do that, I do wanna talk about a friend that I recently made. Her name is Jenna. She doesn't have a channel or anything like that, but I did wanna make sure that I mentioned her because just talking through her through Instagram. She is one of my subscribers and we've become friends. Uh, we became friends during the whole Crocs at McDonald's uh, thing. We were trying to find them. We were eating way too much McDonald's. We probably both gained quite a few extra pounds that we didn't need to because we were eating so much McDonald's. Um, but that's how our friendship started. And as we started talking about things, we've been keeping each other sort of grounded on making sure we're not buying things that we don't need. That's been my goal all along. Uh, but I do, right, I, I, I waver away from it because of that fear of missing out. My newest fear of missing out is the uh, Murakami collection. I can't stop thinking about it. It comes out on my birthday. Uh, so I feel like I am making excuses and reasons of why I need them. Um, when in fact, I really don't need anything. I will probably end up with a piece. <laughs> Let's just be honest. But I just really need to think about the fact that these are not things that I need. And maybe like Genesis, uh, think about the joy of missing out instead of the fear of missing out. So what do I gain by not getting all these things that I convince myself that I need? Uh, so I'm going to try to work through that. I'll see if I get there. But I do want to be extremely mindful of what enters my collection and also what leaves it. I don't want any regrets, right? I don't want to let go of things 
just to declutter or just because I feel like I'm not using them. I really do want to think things through because so far the things that I've let go of, I'm happy with that decision and I want to continue on that path. So I hope that the same thought that goes into me selling something continues to go into me bringing something in, right? So this is not an unboxing channel. It's never going to be. As much as I unbox little things here and there and I love it, that's fine, but I'm not going to be consistently unboxing brand new bags. I have done a couple already this year, but if you watch uh, those videos, it's always been led by something. I've never come out fully out of pocket um, or anything like that for the last few ones, and I wanna continue to be that mindful. So what specific pieces am I talking about? The first one is, I mean, not the first one, it is the big range of SLGs, small leather goods. Unfortunately, I don't need a million. And how has luxury changed me? It has convinced me, <laughs> uh, channel after channel that I watched, I have convinced myself that I need a different pouch for everything. And after watching Dale's video, where she's like, I can't be bothered with that. I just wanna throw everything in my bag. That's exactly who I am at my core, right? And you've definitely here, like have heard me say here, if you watched any of my other videos, right? That I want comfort over everything, right? I want my purse to be functional. I want my items to be easy to grab. That's why I love Neverfulls because it's this big open space. I just can throw things and bring them out. The fact that I love Neverfulls and I compartmentalize everything into a pouch really like I it just really started getting me to think like what am I doing here this is not I've convinced myself that I need this so that I can continue to buy things that I don't really need that I just like looking at am I ready to let go of my SOGs no right I'm not but I think I am going to get everything out of the pouches throw everything in my bag and just see if I can enjoy my bags the same way knowing that that is who I am at my core. I want to just dig and pull and grab and go. I don't want to open a zipper and open something else and grab something else. And what really solidified this for me was this week on Tuesday, so this is Thanksgiving week on Tuesday, we took a big trip to Universal Studios Hollywood, which I absolutely love and adore. <laughs> I love everything Harry Potter, uh, but we went as a giant group. I think we were 11 or 12. It was my sister, the kids, and my brother. Uh, so it was a big group and it was an amazing time. But when we got there, my daughter fell and she scraped her hand really, really bad. Uh, I'm talking like blood everywhere. Um, I, I did have to take her to the uh, like little emergency place there so that they can patch her up. But in my bag, I always have ointments. I have band-aids. I have like basically everything that you would need. I have it. She started crying and bleeding and I had to open pouch after pouch. I had my band-aids inside a pouch, inside of another pouch, and then inside of a different pouch, inside of that pouch, I had uh, the ointments. So it was just this, and I'm freaking out. She did amazing, but I'm freaking out watching her bleed, watching her cry in this place that's like, extremely crowded. I just felt all this pressure coming in and just trying to rip through my bag and put, pull everything out was, <laughs> it just really made me stop and think when I got home, like, what am I doing? That was not effective. <laughs> Even my daughter said, because I had to tell her how brave she had been we, because she had, she even said, she's like, I think you freaked out more than I did. And I absolutely did. I went into this, oh my goodness, she's in pain. There's all these people around. I'm trying to help her and I can't. And the bathroom wasn't closed, but I knew I had things that I can help clean her up with until we reached where we needed to go. So anyway, that really is what prompted me also to make this video. So I do want to grab my purse and this is what I'm in right now. This is the bag that I'm using. It's my um, flower hobo. And I just want to show you just the pouches that I have that I don't, that it's like 
so excessive. I just don't, I, I don't need them. So I'm going to take everything out. I have a bunch of tissues that, because I have, I did just take everything out, but okay. I'm going to hang this on my arm. Pouch number one. I love this one. My um, mother-in-law gave it to me. You've seen things in here before, but I have my mirror inside of another pouch that it came with. Another pouch. I have a lip gloss here and a bunch of little things that I don't need, right? So these are just things that I like carrying with me because they bring me joy. I have a gift card. I have um, some paper clips that my sister gave me. So just little things that remind me of other people. Okay, so that's all in this pouch. But in this pouch, I had something already in another pouch. That's one thing, right? If I needed my mirror, I would have to open two different things. I have this one that was a gift from Lori from Smiling Cats Couture. I have a lipstick, lipstick and a lip gloss. I never wear both. Don't even know why I need to carry both of them. Uh, chapstick, this one definitely comes with me everywhere. But if I needed my chapstick, I'd have to go in my bag, open this, get my chapstick out. Do I do it? Yes. Am I sick of it? Yeah, I have a hand lotion. I have another lipstick, which again, I'm wearing chapstick today. Uh, poopery. Advil. Another pouch. And in this pouch is where I have um, some hand sanitizer pads and things like that. And here is where I had my, <laughs> um, the other stuff for first aid that were all in different pouches, but I since taken them out. And then I have this, which has insurance cards and my uh, birth control. This is an Hermes Calvi that I no longer use for just this. But right, if I needed my insurance card or my birth control, I have to go into there, then go into here, open it, get it out. Right, so many things when I don't really need, to, I don't really need that many things. I have my wallet, which obviously I need. I've been in this one for a while now. I really love this one. Well, this is everything that a wallet has. This one I, I do need. <laughs> That's one pouch that I need. And then I have my sunglasses, I'm using Ray-Bans ones, a bunch of trash, all these things that were inside the other ones, <laughs> female things, more. Here's my, um, the, oh my God, Band-Aids. <laughs> the Band-Aids that are now um outside because they were in this pouch inside they were in this pouch inside of another pouch like this so which unfortunately is gone that's another story but this was this was inside my other one of these in my bag everything was just kind of chaos i had to get everything out it was just a terrible way to start our morning here's my keys <laughs> so another pouch with my keys my pictures, these I carry everywhere. And then these are usually inside something else. And then I have a hand sanitizer that's usually inside another pouch. But again, I've taken everything out. But so incredibly excessive. And it's empty now. Oh, what fell? That was some pennies. <laughs> some coins. All right. So I wish you can see what's in front of me. I will probably, maybe I'll take a picture um, to post it. Maybe not because I'll probably clean it up before I'm done. Um, but it, it's chaos. I don't need all this stuff. So my plan, and hopefully I stick to it and I will give you an update, is to bring everything out of the pouches and have one pouch, one pouch for things like the hand sanitizer and the poopery and things like that that can really spill because I do want to protect my bags. They're expensive. So they do have a purpose, but I don't need to have everything inside of everywhere. And also, if I'm using my Neverfull, for example, I don't even need this. I have an organizer that protects my bag. So that's my plan is to keep everything out. Um, a key one, I definitely do think that everyone needs one for their keys, but it doesn't have to be luxury. Uh, keys can scratch the inside of your bag. So I do think it's important that we keep them somewhere separate. Um, even if it's a, like a little felt thing, I want to show you some that I picked up at Daiso. Um, these I actually picked up for Christmas to put in stockings with some cash, uh, for like my nieces and stuff, but $1.50. Look how cute this is. This is, would definitely fit everything that a key pouch would fit. 
because they're very similar in size. This one's actually a little bigger, but I picked these up that would serve the same exact purpose for you to keep something in there. These are all, they're from Daiso. They are all, everything in there is $1.50. I have this one and then I have this one. So again, I got these for stocking stuffers to put little things um, in there for like the older kids in my family. Um, so yeah, you definitely don't need something like this. I do, however, that's what sold me on it, right? I needed something to protect the inside of my bags, but it had to be luxury. Like that's just, it's so weird. Um, I don't need that, right? Nobody's gonna see it unless I, you know, so, yeah, I, I honestly, that's the point of this video. <laughs> it's just, I want to be more mindful. If SLGs bring you an immense amount of joy, have a million, right? Have a, have a bunch, it's totally fine. What brings me joy though, who I am, is the handbags. The SLGs give me a headache. The SLGs are not functional. I have, um, I wanna say six or seven wallets and I hate switching out of them. I just hate it. I love all of them. I do, I do really like them. And I think they're all incredibly functional, but I mean, since my last video, it's been over a week and I haven't switched out of this one. I don't want to, I don't wanna switch out of it and I don't anticipate myself switching out of it anytime soon. This one's pretty, it's sparkly. So unless I need a card holder cause I'm using something smaller, uh, this, one's gonna, this one's gonna be it for a while. And I, that's just how I want to be. So I am setting myself this goal and I hope that I stick to it and I'm setting it today, which is the last day of November. I'm setting it today. I will not in 2025, I will not purchase a single SLG from any brand, not luxury, not contemporary, none, no wallets, no coin pouches, no small pouches. I am going to hold myself accountable to that. And if I break it, I hope everybody to uh, in the comments say, haha, you, you're a liar. <laughs> uh, I won't let that happen though. So yeah, no more SOGs for me. I um, will be really strong. I know Jenna will hold me accountable to it. We will talk to each other about it. I don't care that Murakami is coming out. I absolutely love it, but I don't want to use that as an excuse. I don't need it and i am recording this live right here to hold myself accountable let me know how you feel is there something that you bought out of fomo and now feel like maybe you didn't need it at all let me know if you have an item like that or multiple like me uh let me know if you've gotten rid of them if that alleviated some of the stress or anything like that that comes with it uh, thank you so much for sticking here. Uh, the holidays are coming. I'm not sure how those videos are going to come along. But until then, I can't wait to see you on the next one. Please consider subscribing, liking this video, and keeping the conversation in the comments. Bye.